Hi, this is Jim Janice, and I'm just making the audio track now, taking a look at the slides that I created here about the four core PC in a small box. I really love this machine. It's called the Vensmile IPC002 Pocket Mini Computer. I got one a month ago. It's the only PC I use now because I love it. It's a fantastic little box, tiny, tiny, about the size of a candy bar. And I got very jazzed about this because I was going to give my sister a hand with some sort of a portable computer. She takes trips and she likes to do some work on those trips. It turns out, of course, if you take a laptop through the airlines, you have to take it out of your case and you've got to go through security. But she found out that tablet computers don't have to get unpacked from your, your carry-on. So this fits the bill of a tablet computer because the box you're looking at on the screen right now is just a tiny aluminum box. No keyboard, no monitor, no nothing, just a couple of connectors, but it works fantastically. It's a four core machine. And here's another thing that's absolutely fantastic about this. It's got a legal copy of Windows 8.1, all paid for, and it comes with the machine. And the whole thing only costs $126. Of course, you've got to hook it up to a TV, you need a keyboard, uh, you need to use a mouse. I'll cover that in a minute. Basically, I wanted to put this into a package because I want to use one on my desk, but I didn't want to have a whole bunch of loose wires and, and parts hanging out. There's a parts list provided at the end of this video if you want to replicate what I've done. Here's a page from Amazon. This is where I bought the machine, and I just copied this with a screenshot. This gives a lot of information. This is what attracted me to this machine. Uh, two gigabytes of memory. It's uh, not particularly fast at 1.3 gigs, but it's got four processors in it, and it's an Intel CPU, so I think maybe it's pretty good. And it turned out to be fantastic. It's got Wi-Fi built in, also Bluetooth. I wound up not using the Bluetooth very much. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Here's what the little box looks like. I built this out of Masonite and some very simple uh, cheap little wood that I had laying around. I do have a table saw, so I was able to cut this stuff very readily. Basically, I wanted to fit a charger and the cord to the charger and the little PC in a box and many of the connections all in one place. This machine has two regular-sized USB ports. I found that there's a Logitech wireless combo keyboard, which I put into the parts list, I bought it for $20. I think the list price is $29. It was on sale. It comes with a mouse and the keyboard. And the nice thing is they all, that is the keyboard and the mouse, both run through that same little dongle that I'm pointing to here. You don't have to use a separate one for each, which means you have one USB port free. I hooked an extension cable onto it. It comes out. I can plug a flash drive in, and that's how I can pull in files that I don't want to download, but I want to transfer in with a USB. The other plugs that you see are an HDMI out for your television monitor and the charging plug, which is a micro USB plug, and it's plugged in this case into a two-port charger that I stuck in here. Why a two-port charger? Well, I thought it was kind of handy to have some extra USB power off to the side. I might want to charge a cell phone. I spend a lot of time at my desk. Why not have an extra wire hanging out so I don't have to plug in a charger? But also, I investigated LCD panel screens. I don't demonstrate it here, but it's a very nice 13 and a third inch LCD screen. It does accept HDMI, so it hooks up well to this little PC in a box, but it also requires USB power. That's why the second port here. So the second port is very handy. It's a charger that I put into the parts list. It's not very expensive. I think it's very good. Plenty of power here for the little PC in a box. Here you see the completed package. It's just little strips of wood about an inch wide and some masonite, rather thin, about an eighth of an inch thick. It's not very heavy. What I've got here is two openings at the back. AC power cord comes out one and three cables come out of the other. One is the HDMI to the television. There's also the extension USB and then the black cable that you see at the bottom is the micro USB to charge the phone. If I was using an LCD display that accepted the HDMI signal 
and needed USB power, that black cord would be replaced with a cord similar to the white one so I could plug the monitor's USB plug into that jack and feed it power from the charger. The little Vensmile PC in a box doesn't have enough power to power the monitor. It will power devices, but it won't power the monitor, which takes a little bit more than this little tiny box is able to provide. The power button on the Vensmile is at one end of this thin aluminum case. So I left an opening in the box that I constructed that's at that sloping end, and the reason is really twofold. You have to get your finger in there to hold that button down to turn this thing on, but it's also good to have an opening where some air can circulate, and that's why you see some holes on the side too. The CPU doesn't run very hot. I have a program called Speccy from Piriform on it, and I can measure the temperature of the CPU, and it never goes over 114 Fahrenheit, which is only about 10 degrees or so, 15 degrees above body temperature. It's not really very warm, and I've never seen this thing really heat up too much, although it's got four cores going on in there. This is the back of the box, and you can see at the top the three cables that the HDMI, the USB extension, and the power cord that I use to charge my phone, and at the bottom you see the single extension cord, which is the power cord for the charger. And here's the last picture that I'll show you before the parts list. This is how it looks on my desk. Now it's just unfinished wood because this was a prototype, and I might make a few more for friends and my sister, but this one I didn't really care to try and paint prematurely. I just wanted to make sure I got all the measurements right. If anybody's interested, I can probably graft up some plans so you know how to cut this stuff up and make it fit if you wanted to use exactly the same parts. I will probably do that in the next couple of weeks uh, because I myself will probably construct a few more of these and it's handier if you have some template to follow rather than trying to fit it all together as I had to do this time. Here's the parts list. The IPC002, an anchor 20 watt two port USB charger, I expanded the memory 32 gigs using a class 10, that's the fastest class of a uh, micro memory card. The Logitech wireless combo I use is MK270. It comes with a keyboard and a mouse, and both of those communicate wirelessly to the one dongle at the USB port. I have tried a Bluetooth keyboard. It works okay, but a Bluetooth mouse seems rather sluggish and as I move the mouse the cursor takes a little while to follow so I wasn't really too interested in that approach that's why I went with this Logitech wireless combo keyboard if you want to configure this the way that I did you need a USB extension cable also a micro USB charging cable you need a power cord I just bought that at Home Depot and a little tiny bit of plastic foam because when I put the computer in there I cushioned it uh, at the edges with a little bit of foam not much but some and you need some odd pieces of masonite, wood, nail screws, glue, tools, and some elbow grease to put it together. I think the computer is fantastic. You don't have to put it in a box this way. You can use it loose and just run cables as you wish. But I thought this would neaten things up on the desk. Flipping back just to the way it looks on my desk, I'm really very pleased with it. If you found this interesting, I'm very happy. We've added to the net happiness in the world. Bye-bye.